Good morning. Hello, hello, everyone. I'm already cracking up over here. <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome, you guys. If you are on here with me, please say hello. I have a special guest. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, he's already got me laughing this morning. How is everyone doing? He just decided that he just last minute he wanted to jump on with me. I'm like, okay, come on. <laughs> so you guys, oh my goodness. So we're both using our altered mugs. No, this way. <laughs> so you know what? I'm gonna have Bob share really quick. Um <clears throat> I tagged Doc, Dr. Michael Ferris yesterday. Because I wanted him to, you know, see that I was using mm -hmm. my mug, and he actually made a comment, but it was really cool. But anyway, but yesterday, you guys, for those of you that missed it, if you missed my morning devotion yesterday, um, I hope that you actually go back and watch the replay. But it was all about our um, our broken lives and our altered lives, and it was all related around our mugs, and so. And I shared a little bit about mine yesterday, and I'm going to have Bob share about his and what it means to him and show you guys his mug. Oh, look, it It looks perfect, doesn't it? Just like me. <laughs> <laughs> then you turn it a little bit. Oh, what's this? Right in the beginning, someone got a little ding. Then it went on and on, and then it all fell apart. He caved in. Then Jesus came, put it all back together again. And there's some darkness on it in the beginning, some bumps, some roughness. And he smoothed it out. And the whole time, the potter's hand was on the mug. Isn't that amazing, you guys? The whole the time, the potter's hand was on the mug. Yes. You can see how it fits right in. It fits perfectly where his thumb is, and it's just amazing to me. So I'm telling you, these mugs are going to be such a reminder to us every time we drink out of these cups of who we are and how God is in every single part of our lives, right? Just molding us, molding us. And I just love that so much. <laughs> Melanie, hello, hello. Hey, Mel. <laughs> Hi, Mel. Hi, Tova. It's so good to have you guys on here. So this morning, you guys, I want to share a little bit about, um, well, let me just say that this morning I woke up with this, another song. You know, every once in a while I wake up with a song in my head. And I woke up with this last couple of days I've been waking up with, with these songs. And this song this morning was um, Champion. I think that's the name of it, right? And so the part of the song that was in my mind was, um, you know, that you are my champion and that giants fall and that um, I am defeated with the one that has conquered it all. And but when I started singing that part, as I was spending time with the Lord this morning, he reminded me of an incident that happened a few days back. And it's um, and it has to do with my daughter. And. And he was reminding me that, um, you know, that he's already got it. You know, he, he's already conquered. He's already, it's, you know, that in a blink of an eye, you know, things can change in a second. You know, it just it, things can change, you know, to exactly the way that he wants it to be. And for me to just, you know, to just lay my fears at his feet and to just let him, you know, fight this battle. And that was like such an eye opener for me. And, and I hear this all the time and I'm getting, getting emotional. <laughs> I'm getting emotional about this because as you guys know, as mothers and Mel, I know you understand this, you know, we want, we want the best for our kids, right? We want the best for our daughters. We want the best for our family. We want them to love Jesus the way that we love Jesus. And that's what I want for my daughter. And and I was seeing some dark, real dark things that she was sharing publicly, you know, on social media that just really just hurt my heart. And, and the way that I got through it and didn't let it drag on for me is I, I painted. I came into my, my studio and I started painting. And 
And I'll just show you. You guys get a little glimpse of this. The, the background of this painting <clears throat> is very dark, as you can see. It is very dark. And I wanted, I've been wanting to paint these flowers. But if you look at this, <laughs> it brings my tissues. <laughs> oh. I'm the tissue bearer. <laughs> but if you guys look at this painting, it speaks of hope as well. And how God's light was shining in the darkness. And one of, you know, so I don't, you know, you guys are the first to see this painting, by the way, <laughs> just letting you know. <laughs> um, but the word that he gave me for it was exposing darkness. And, and um, I'm going to read this for you guys. So Ephesians 5. Good morning, Rose. Rose is on here from, the, from nice Florida. Nice hot weather in Florida. <laughs> I'm jealous. Okay, so I'm going to read to you guys Ephesians 5, if you'd like to join me. Um, so Ephesians 5, and I'm going to read um, verses 11 through 14. Because this was the scripture that the Lord gave me about exposing the darkness. And it says, take no part in the worthless deeds of evil and darkness. Instead, expose them. And the painting also, when I look at it, it's it, doing it exactly that. It's exposing the darkness with those white flowers. <clears throat> it is shameful even to talk about the things that ungodly people do in secret. But their evil intentions will be exposed when the light shines on them. Right? When Christ shines on them. For the light makes everything visible. And this is why it is said, awake, O sleeper. Rise up from the dead and Christ will give you light. And that's how I kind of see this painting. Um, <clears throat> but another thing that he was also reminding me of that he took me to another song. I don't know if you guys know the song Battle Belongs by Phil Wickman. I love that song. But he reminded me of a story of, is it Jehoshaphat? Is that the right name? <laughs> you said it right. <clears throat> I think it's Jehoshaphat from the story back in Second Chronicles, when um, when well, let me just let me just take you there, <laughs> okay? So Second Chronicles, so Second Chronicles twenty. If you guys want to join me, yes, it is Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat. Um. So this is when they were going into war. They were going into war. I don't know the whole entire story. I would encourage you guys to read Second Chronicles twenty because it's in Second Chronicles twenty. Um, but I'm going to start from verse twenty that says, "Early the next morning, the army of Judah went out into the wilderness of Tekoa. On the way, Jehoshaphat stopped and said, "Listen to me, all you people of Judah and Jerusalem." Believe in the Lord your God, and you will be able to stand firm. Believe in his prophets, and you will succeed. So after consulting the people, the king appointed singers to walk ahead of the army, singing to the Lord and praising him for his holy splendor. And this is what they sang. Give thanks to the Lord. His faithful love endures forever. And at that very moment, they begin to sing and give praise, and the Lord caused the armies of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir to start fighting among themselves. That's what the battle belongs. The song Battle Belongs by Phil Wickman is all about. It's about the story of Jehoshaphat and a reminder to us that the battle belongs to Jesus. It belongs to him. It doesn't belong to us that because of the blood on the cross, that any battle that we face, any fears that we face belongs to him. And all we have to do is praise and worship him. And if we just lift up our hands and praise and worship him in the time of desperation or fear or, or worry or anything that we're battling at the moment, that he will give us freedom from that, that he'll deliver us from that, that he'll give us joy like he did with me, give me joy when I came in here 
And because of my interceding prayer in my painting, he gave me joy because that's what gives me joy is painting in my studio. And so he just wanted to remind me of that again this morning, that any battles that we face, you guys, any battles that we face whatsoever at all, that if we just lift up our hands to him and just praise and worship him, that he will do the rest, right? He will do the rest. That's so is right. there anything else that you think you want to add to that, honey? <laughs> I don't know. Book of Galatians coming to my mind when um, Paul's saying, think of how you started. Mm -hmm. When God, God's love is irresistible. When he touches your heart and breaks your heart of stone and opens your eyes to, to him and his love is, you can't resist it. He calls us. He chooses us. It's God is faithful. Jesus is faithful. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can't keep our own standards. Right. But he will, you know, he hears our prayers. Pray for your children. Step back and watch what he does. Yeah. And that's what he was reminding me of, you know. And again, like I said, in the blink of an eye, everything could change. Their hearts could change in the blink of an eye. You know, and so when when we were raising our kids, we were raising our kids because they were children. But once they become adults, they're no longer ours. And it took a while for me to let go of that. You were a part of all of that, you know, and it took time. It took a lot of, wow, just surrendering, surrendering my kids to the Lord. And and I finally felt freedom from that. But it's just human nature. We're, we're parents. We're still going to continue to worry about our kids or at least. <clears throat> no, you can't know. worry. Worrying is a sin. Well, you know what I mean? You're I mean, saying it's you don't trust God when you're worrying. That's you're true. That's true. That's true. So, okay. No, no, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> about your kids. <laughs> you're saying if I ran the universe, things would be different, right? Yeah. He's got it. That's right. He does have it. He has it. And that is very wise of Bob to share that because it's true, you know, but again, as, as mothers, we feel their pain. We do feel their pain. And when they are not believers, we feel more of their pain, but we know, we know that God's got us. We know that, um, that deliverance and salvation will come for our children. Right. Amen to that. And I, I do believe that I do. And he was just reminding me that, of that again, you know, this morning. So let's go one step further. Let's believe it's going to be soon. Yeah. Things are cranking up out there in the world. And everybody noticed. That. Yes, that's right. Let's believe that it's going to be soon. And because of revival that's happening with the young generation all over the, the country right now. Yes. Amen. Let's believe that it's going to be soon for our children. Amen. Amen. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Melanie says she needs a Kleenex now. <laughs> no, no. <clears throat> oh, okay. Will you pray? Sure. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for all the people you bring into our lives. Such beautiful treasure. Mm -hmm. mm, beauty. That's what God sees, each one of you. He sees beauty. Unique. Um, if one of you was missing, he would feel so much loss. He loves you. Oh, Lord, just have your way here with us. Mm, we love you. Open our eyes to you, to your love, mm. your power, that you are in control. Or we don't have to worry about anything. The only thing that gets messed up is us, our emotions. Read the book. What he says is his word will not come back, Lord. Mm. It's going to happen. Um, yeah, so we can be part of that. So, Lord, use us. Mm. We surrender to you. We open our hearts to you, our minds. Have your way. We love you. And bless everybody that's watching today mm -hmm. and will be watching. Mm. Just bless your people. Bless our children. Yes, Jesus. Work in their hearts, Lord. Send people to them sometimes we just drive them further away you know mm. they be they're rebellious so send somebody 
give them the key to unlock those hearts. Yes. And we thank you for what you're going to do. Yes. And in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Remember to go out there and be a blessing to someone else. And I will see you guys again tomorrow morning. Bye. <laughs>